Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this fun polka dot pattern using a displacement map in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a new document. We're going to create our polka dot pattern. So go ahead and go on, click Create New. The dimensions we are going to use for this is we are going to go 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Um, I'm just going to leave the resolution at 300 uh, pixels per inch and then we'll have RGB color mode and then we're going to set our background to transparent and then go ahead and create the document. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in using uh, command plus key on the keyboard and then I'm going to bring uh, my layers panel out here so we can see it. To start with we're going to use the ellipse tool. So I'm hovering over here, right clicking, we're going to select the ellipse tool. And then I'm going to uh, click on the canvas here and then I'm going to do a, um, a circle that's 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And then go ahead and click on OK. And then I'm going to uh, center it on my document. So I'm going to go um, click the M key to access the marquee and then we're going to go Command A to select all. And then from here, we're going to move to the move tool, which is V on the keyboard. And then we're going to use these uh, controls up here to uh, center it in the middle um, horizontally and then center it uh, vertically as well. So we'll go ahead and deselect those. You can go Command D or you can go up to select, uh, deselect here from the main menu. And then uh, now we are going to uh, go ahead and duplicate that layer. And then we are going to do filter, other, offset, and then Photoshop will give you this prompt where you'll need to convert it to a smart object in order to use a filter. And then um, because our document is 400 pixels by 400 pixels, when you're using this offset tool, you want to half the size of your document. So in this case, we're going to move it over uh, 200 uh, pixels horizontally and then we'll also move it up vertically 200 pixels here to get our um, circle in the corners and then under the undefined areas you'll want to set to wrap around to get it to um, go on each corner of your square and then here we'll just hit OK and then uh, from here we are going to uh, define this pattern so we'll go to edit define pattern and then you can just go ahead and give it a name next we are going to create our a scrapbook paper so we'll go to file new and then we're going to use the dimensions at 3600 by 3600 pixels um, to get the standard for um, digital scrapbook paper. We'll have our resolution be 300 pixels per inch. We'll do RGB color mode and then we'll go ahead and put our background, background contents to white and then click create. And then we are going to grab a pattern adjustment layer and then we'll go ahead and select our recent pattern here. And then uh, when you have this dialog box up, you have the option to uh, change the angle. You can scale it up, scale it down, and then um, you can also uh, move it around. Um, and then if you want to get it back to where it was, you can go snap to origin um, to get it to uh, be defined by your pattern here. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. From here, we need to create our displacement map. So we are going to do that by creating a new document. Okay, And then um, we are going to do it the same size as our scrapbook paper, our 3600 pixels by 3600. And we'll leave all of these the same. And we'll go ahead and click Create. And then uh, what a displacement map is, it's a um, black and white document that you um, can then use to uh, distort, um, in this case, our polka dot pattern. So for this, we are going to, um, you wanna make sure that your um, foreground, background colors are set to default here in the bottom here. And then we are going to go to filter. We are going to render, and then you'll wanna select difference clouds. 
And then you'll get this kind of cloudy look um, this, with the black and white here. And then uh, from here, uh, we'll go ahead and unlock this layer here. And then we're going to apply another filter. We're gonna go to filter, and this time we'll do render, and then we are going to use fibers. In the dialog box here, um, you have the option to change uh, this variance where you can kind of move it left to right and it will um, change the overall look of this. In this case, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. We're gonna do about uh, 19 here. And then as far as when you move the strength, you can see it just changes uh, the look of it a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to, um, I like 18 here. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. So now it's created this kind of fibrous looking um, uh, document here. And so next, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Save As. Select your folder. Uh, go ahead and give it a name. In this case, we'll just do kind of um, black and white fibers. And then uh, you'll want to make sure that it's saved as a Photoshop document and then click Save. And then um, you can go ahead and close uh, that document there. So now we're back into our uh, polka dot document here. We're going to uh, right click on this layer and then uh, convert it to a smart object so that we can apply our displacement map to it. And then you're going to go to Filter. In this case, we're gonna do distort, and then you're gonna select displace. And then um, with this, you have the option to um, adjust the horizontal and vertical scale here. Um, let's go ahead and try, um, let's start with uh, 10, 10 horizontally and 10 vertically. Uh, for the, the scale. And then um, under here, displacement map starts to fit tile. Because our displacement map was made at the same dimensions as our document here, um, this doesn't really matter. But if your displacement map was different, um, maybe smaller than your document size, then you uh, can choose to either tile it or have it stretch to fit your document. And then uh, from here, you can go ahead and click on OK. And then you're going to select the um, displacement ma map file that we created before. In this case, it was black, white fibers. And then you're gonna click to open. And then as you can see, it's applied it and it's given us this um, kind of fun, fuzzy, uneven effect. And then if you wanted to maybe intensify it or make it less, you'll click back on displace here. You can uh, change the values. Maybe we'll go a little bit higher here. Click on OK. And then it will ask you to uh, reselect that file. Click on open. And then you can see that it has intensified the look there. Next, to uh, change the uh, color of this, we are going to use a color adjustment layer. So here in the layers panel, select solid color. And then uh, you can choose a value, color value here, and then click OK. And then you'll want to uh, create a clipping mask. You can do that by right clicking and click create clipping mask. And then it will uh, change the colors of your polka dots here. And then you can easily go back and change um, the color value uh, here. I liked the look of it a little bit less. So I'm going to go back into Displace. And then we're going to go back to our 10 by 10 for our horizontal and vertical scale. And then I'll reselect it here. And then just bring it down a little bit there. So now that I have my uh, design and my ch color chosen, I'm going to go ahead and save it as scrapbook paper. So you're going to go to File, Save As. Choose your document and go ahead and give it a name. Purple polka dots. And then you want to change the format to JPEG. And then you want to make sure this color profile is still selected. And then click Save. And then uh, with scrapbook paper, you want it to be um, the highest quality. So just you can drag it up here and then go ahead and click OK. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun polka dot pattern using a displacement map. 
Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. In the description below, I'll leave a link to my shop where you can purchase Photoshop pattern templates. I also have a Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.